Hello everybody and welcome back to All The Jets. How are you doing? To the bang! <laughs> so in my last video I informed you guys that I was going to be doing a Q&A video and I asked you guys to send in your questions and that is exactly what you did. <laughs> so today I am going to try and answer as many questions as I possibly can. Now which one will I start with? I think the first question I'm going to answer today is a question from Canal Potatoes. So before I answer her question, I just want to tell you guys that she has a really, really, really cool YouTube channel. I will leave a link to that down below so you guys can check it out too. Hi Jess, I'm Bruna from Canal Potatoes. Here in Brazil, society pressures you to graduate in college, have a good job, those ones you work from eight to six, um, buy a house, get married, have children, and teach them all over again. And if you want to do something different, people simply don't understand. How does it work in Ireland? Does this kind of pressure exist? So I thought this question was really, really interesting. Um, obviously, you know, Ireland is kind of known for being really traditional, but in reality, I kind of find it's the, it's the older generation of people who are really, really traditional. And the younger generation really aren't that traditional at all. Um, going to school, going to college, getting a job, getting married, having kids, buying a house, you know, like all those kind of old school trends aren't as popular anymore and people are kind of free to do whatever they want now, which is fantastic. And you don't have to do it in any specific order. So for example, after I finished school, I went to college in Dublin and to be honest, I just wasn't enjoying the college course at all. I was a little bit worried about how my, my parents, my family, my friends, how they would react if I told them that I, I didn't really want to go to college. Um, but when I did tell them, they were so supportive and they just wanted me to be happy. And I think that's what it ultimately comes down to nowadays. As long as you are happy, that's all that matters. You don't have to confine yourself to society's standards and, and live a traditional life um, just because society says so. So the next question is actually from Edu from E Dublin and he wanted to know my opinion on Bono and U2 because recently U2 had a really big concert in Dublin and there was a lot of talk about them in the media. So he wanted to know what my opinion was and why is it that Irish people don't really like U2 very much? <laughs> To be honest, when I sat down and thought about it, I, I actually couldn't really remember. I was like, why Why don't we like you two? I don't know. There was a bit of a scandal in the past when it, when it came out that they weren't paying taxes. Um, so that di definitely didn't go down well. Um, but other, th other than that, I actually don't know why we don't like you two very much. So many of you guys come up and tell me how much you love you two and how much you love Bono. So the truth is you guys love Bono and you two a lot more than Irish people do. <laughs> as well as that, in Ireland, we don't have this this really big celebrity culture um, like they do in England or America where people just go crazy for celebrities. I know that a lot of celebrities actually really enjoy coming to Ireland because people just don't care. I mean, celebrities can pretty much walk down the street in Ireland and, and not be bothered, you know? Like I remember being out in Hoth one day and uh, The Edge walks past, just walking his dog. Nobody was stopping him, nobody's bothering him, just out and about. <laughs> so the next question is from Pedro. Ei hey Jess, tudo bem? Bom, a minha pergunta hoje é o que você acha de nós brasileiros é, que temos vontade e o intuito de mudar definitivamente para a Irlanda? Até mais. Beijo. Tchau. So, I know that a lot of Brazilians want to come over here and spend maybe eight months or a year just learning English, but I also know that a lot of Brazilians want to come and live here forever and they want to like make, make a home here, you know? And to be honest, I think it's fantastic either way because if you just want to come over and maybe study English or work abroad for a year, that is such an incredible experience for you. It opens up your mind to new possibilities and and like new friendships and new education and just, it's, it's a really, really priceless experience. But for those Brazilians who want to come and live here and, and, and start a new life, I think that's brilliant as well because living in Brazil versus living in Europe can be very, very different. And for a lot of people, it it does bring new opportunities in life. And 
I think that everybody should have every possibility uh, and every opportunity in life. So, so why not? It makes me really, really happy to, to think that people want to move to Ireland for good because it means that this is a nice country and that people enjoy living here and, and they want to stay here or they can imagine the rest of their life here. It's, it's, it's a really, really nice thing. So yes, I love and respect Brazilians that want to stay here just for a year and I love and respect Brazilians who want to stay here forever. <laughs> so I know that I have done a lot of talking on those three questions um, and I probably don't have too much time left. <laughs> so what I decided to do is like a quick fire round and I'm going to try and answer them as quickly as I can. <laughs> Here we go. Solange Days asks, what are bank holidays and why are they called bank holidays? So a bank holiday is pretty much a public holiday. It originally started off as just, a, it was like four special days in the year that the banks were going to be closed. But now we actually call all public holidays bank holidays. Uh, Christmas Day is a bank holiday. New Year's Day is a bank holiday. It's just, we've, we've, you, we use that term for every holiday now. Igor Igor Vinsky uh, says that Americans call each other dude. Do we call each other dude? No, we absolutely do not call each other dude. <laughs> Something that we do call each other is like pal or bud. Very classic Irish slang would be, what's the starny bud? <laughs> Joan says, can you talk about Irish alcoholic drinks? I could talk for days about Irish, al <laughs> Irish alcoholic drinks. <laughs> So if you would like me to, I will make an entire video on Irish alcoholic drinks. If you want to see that, leave a comment down below and let me know. Jennifer Diane says, are Irish people reserved like the English? Are they quiet and serious? I don't think they are at all. Um, I actually think we're kind of a nice mixture in between the Brazilians and the English in the sense that Brazilians are absolutely crazy and English people are are stereotypically quite quiet and reserved and serious um, but I think we're somewhere in between there you know what I mean we're not as crazy as the Brazilians but we're definitely not as serious as the English so we're a good mixture in between. <laughs> Ana Guzmão um, says what do Irish people think of St. Patrick's Day? She mentioned that it seems like there's a lot of just foreign people uh, in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day. And to be honest, that is kind of the truth. A lot of Irish people would prefer to stay at home on St. Patrick's Day um, because it can get a bit messy in town. And so we can actually watch the St. Patrick's Day parade on telly. So a lot of us would choose to do that instead of going into town where it's a bit crazy. Um, so yes, if you do go into Dublin on St. Patrick's Day, chances are you're not going to see too many Irish people <laughs> but a lot of people like to go out locally so they won't go out into the big city they'll go out into their they'll go out to their local pub in their local town. Clayton Waiter, Waitier, Clayton Waitier says where can we play rugby in Dublin? Really really good question. First of all I would check out meetup.com uh, type in and see if there's a rugby meetup in Ireland. You could end up meeting a cool bunch of people who really enjoy playing rugby as well or I would also suggest setting up your own little rugby league because there are loads of like free rugby pitches in like the Phoenix Park and probably in Marley Park. There's actually loads of parks all over Dublin uh, where the pitches are free to use. So set up your own. John Victor is concerned because he doesn't have that much English and he's wondering if he'll be able to adapt to living in Ireland when his level of English is quite low. 100% yes. Sometimes that fear can stop people from, uh, from moving abroad. But I can honestly say that once you come here, once you live here and you're hearing English every single day, it is gonna help you so much. Your English is gonna go from here to here so quickly. Don't let it stop you if you don't have a lot of English. So guys, that is all I have for you today. <laughs> for now guys, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget I've got my own YouTube channel as well. I will see you again in a really cool video very, very, very soon, guys. Beijo. Ciao.